Oh, that's a decent fish. Good morning, everybody. So, I'm out here at this tiny little city pond, uh, and I'm gonna try to catch some catfish. I have fished this spot a couple of times this year uh, for bass or whatever that I could get. And I did manage to hook into a couple, but they weren't anything very big, and I never got enough in one single outing to make a decent video. So you guys haven't seen the spot yet, but uh, we're gonna see what we can catch. I've got two rods out. Uh, the silver one's a medium action, and the other one's medium heavy. They're not catfish poles. And then I brought some, uh, got some worms, but I've also got some chicken breast. It's got a little bit of Kool-Aid on it, but I ran out of Kool-Aid, so it's got uh, strawberry lemonade, country time lemonade on there. So we'll see if they like to hit that stuff. But uh, I'm just gonna get it sent out there and see what I can catch, so stay tuned. All right, let's see what we can do here. So I've been on the hunt for a big catfish for most of the year. Um, you guys haven't really seen much because most of it's just been me sitting on a bank not catching anything. The few that I have hooked up with have all been on dip bait. Um, it's just gross looking. I've all been on dip bait and none of them have been very big. I mean, dip bait works great, but you're typically not gonna catch any bigs off of it, at least in my experience. So, I've come out here to try to get one. If you guys have watched my, I don't know, probably not the last video at this point, but a few videos ago, I went out fishing with uh, Jeff from Nexus Fishing, and he managed to hook into his personal best, Channel Cat. Um, I really wish I could have got on one, but I did not, so. I'm out here trying again. I would really like to break my personal record of about eight pounds. I didn't have a scale, but that's what I was told it probably weighed by some other folks who I showed the picture to. So we're gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna load it up. Let's just take this guy and throw it on here. Um, this is an eight-aught hook. If I remember right, they were Gamagatsu. And I got them in like a little kitty pack or something. I should have brought some hand sanitizer down here with me. This stuff seems like it's probably going to fall off pretty quickly. So I can't huck that out too hard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get both rods baited. So I can wipe my hands off before I have to touch this thing. I don't want to touch my rods uh, with dirty old chicken fingers. Looks like a nice hunk. Just work it on that. Try to get it to stay on. Shouldn't impede the hook set too much, as soft as this stuff is. Um, and I'll be honest, guys, I suck with circle hooks. Doesn't matter what I do, I simply seem to consistently lose fish, no matter the hits. So, I do think I have a dirty old rag with me, yep. So at least I can wipe my hands off. I have to remember not to stick my hands in my mouth. Guess no picking my nose either, huh? It's kind of a bummer. <laughs> it's cold out today too, folks. It's 28 degrees. Um, so, uh, it's all sticky now. I really should have brought something with me. I suppose I can stick them in the water too, but. All right, let's get these guys tossed out here. I'm just gonna stick them straight out. Um, right here is kind of a little dam and there's some water on the other side and it's spilling through. So we're just gonna kind of stick them right over there in that area and see what we can do. So I'm using the, I think it's the Team Catfish sinker sliders on both of these, I really like those. the side of this before I cast her out. Oh, that was a terrible cast. Terrible cast. I think I damn near half lost, lost half my chicken. Yeah, I better uh, fix that. A piece of it already came off. It's really soft. That was a terrible cast. What's up with that? that off a bit I guess I don't know if you guys can see but there it looks like there's big like pavers 
so there's like a big brick or something right there some big rocks so i think it kind of gets deeper pretty quickly here that's better about where i wanted it i don't know how deep that is oh it's deep enough i'm just going to stand here and watch them i don't plan to put any bells on today Kind of try to put this one out a little bit farther see what happens Have to be a bit more careful with this this is only 10 pound line on here and uh there could be definitely be some stuff in here that would uh break this probably if i'm done with it oh my hands are already freezing there we go so I've got them out get my dirty old chicken sealed back up and I'm just gonna stand here and wait folks fingers crossed that I break a PB today anything over eight pounds so we'll see what happens stay tuned this one's got one on it for sure oh, it's a big one. Oh, did it come out you gotta be shitting me. <sighs> that was a complete failure. That was way over on the other side too. I can't believe that it just happened. I just, I'm just completely failing on the hook sets out here. Just completely failed that one. That one was, damn it. That one seemed pretty good too. That was a complete failure, complete failure on my part. It's way over there. He damn near had the bot rod bent over into the water when he first hit and then nothing. So I've got this eight inch pull float, it's just a Walmart, from Walmart. Um, these two are still sitting out there, but when I change, when my time is up for this little 20 minute session, I'm gonna throw this on, I'm gonna put it on this rod here, and uh, I'm gonna see if keeping some of it off, the, keeping it off the bottom is gonna help me out, I don't know. I'll run one on this rig and one on the bottom. Well, just make sure this thing is tight. All right, I'm going to reel this one in. The bummer part about that rod is it does not fit in these rod holders. I'm honestly going to take that piece of chicken and use it on this other hook just because I don't want to waste what I've got left. Um, might re-dip it in that bag. Of... Nasty though. That should stay on there. Let's dip it in our juice here. Get some more stank up on it. Yeah, that line's not moving at all. Okay, restankified. I should probably get my other rod holder in the ground before I cast it out there. Maybe I should have tried to catch some bluegills or something with this and strung them up live. At least the ground's soft enough I can get this thing in the ground. Okay. out of here something's taking it okay. something's got that for sure you guys running yep okay that feels like a good fish well we were just getting ready to stick our other one out and... oh that's a 
decent fish. I don't think it's gonna breed our PB. But, there we go folks. Four hours and we managed to catch one. It's not that big, but we got one. Here we go guys. took forever. I am going to weigh him. There we go guys. We ended up uh, finally hooking into one. Um, I'm going to get it weighed quick. I'd like to see how much he weighs. Point six eight pounds. There we go, guys. Well, I managed to hook into one. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Not a fan of sticking my hand in their mouth. So, say what you like. I don't care. All right. Took a lot of time to get that guy, but we did manage to hook up with one finally. So it's a really good fish, five pounder. Get one more shot on the camera here. Okay, I'll get you back in now. Let's let this dude go. It's not the size that I was hoping for, but yeah, go, go. He's getting out of here. He's gone. Awesome. Well, that took a long time. But we managed to catch one. I'm still going to throw that other one out on that uh, little slip float bobber. And uh, I'll get this other one rebaited and I'll throw that one back out too. Hopefully we can hook up with another one. So stay tuned. I'm glad that this was rolling when I hooked into him. Okay, well, I'm gonna shove this guy back out. Uh, it only took about four hours, but I'm satisfied at this point. Let's see how that works. If it slides down like it should, it should be heavy enough. I don't know, we'll just watch that one, see what happens. Whew. that down in there and hope that it doesn't get stolen it'll be easy to watch for that so all right it's time to go I've been at it over six hours one fish about to pee my pants there's nowhere to pee around here so that's it for me all right y'all take those off I don't really need them but uh, well we didn't manage to hook up with anything big. Um, I guess 5.6 pounds is it's not a bad, cat, bad catfish at all, but uh, it's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something 10 pounds or more, and it's been incredibly hard for me to try to get anything like that or to hook up with anything like that. Uh, I had a few hits today that I guess I just failed on the hook sets on them. Um, I'm not great with circle hooks. If, I, if you didn't hear me mention that, uh, I think I just jumped the gun on them a lot um, and the one that we did hook up with he hooked himself he had that rod bent over so I don't know maybe I just need to consistently leave my drags tight I know a lot of people loosen them up and let them take it and then they'll reel down on it to set the hook but that just doesn't work for me I suck at it so I am thankful that I caught that one today uh, we're gonna keep trying we're gonna keep going to different spots and seeing if we can find something there's been so many days that I've been out trying to do this that uh, eight to 10 hours of footage that's completely worthless because I have not hooked up with anything. So we're gonna keep trying. Hopefully we can get on something bigger here shortly. Although the weather is getting really, really cold. Uh, it just got over freezing, oh, maybe 30 minutes ago and it's 3.45 now. So 
it's been cold. My feet are freezing, I'm waiting for this truck to get warm so I can warm my feet up. If you're gonna go out, make sure you bring some warm shoes. I have warm socks on, but I'm wearing like mesh Adidas running shoes and they just aren't working. So anyways, if you enjoyed it, uh, make sure you give it a like. That really helps me uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. There's, there's no reason not to, it's free. Um, and stay tuned, I upload every three days, fishing, camping, general outdoor stuff. So if you'd like to see more of it, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. So anyways, I really appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next adventure. We'll see you in a bit.